Hello guys, it's Lucas here and what I have here today is the new HKC app that has been released only recently. This new app has a great feature that will allow you to connect DAWA recorders and NVRs, XVRs or standalone IP cameras um, together with your HKC panel. And you can then view those cameras via the new HKC software and those can be connected to your zones the video can be uploaded to your HKC app as well. So let me show you today how to connect the DAWA equipment with the HKC panel using the SmartLink 700 software. It's very straightforward, uh, but I can't wait to show you that. So let's go. Okay, so we have a SmartLink 700 software run now, and we just need to make sure we are connected to our panel and it's online, that's great. So in this page, we just go to the devices, external devices. And like you see, I have nothing listed just yet. Uh, you just need to click the add button on the right hand side. So now the system is going to ask you what kind of manufacturer you like to connect with. Um, so just enter your DAWA, uh, select the DAWA from the drop list, enter your um, user and password to your recorder or camera and then the serial number. So the easiest way to find out the serial number would be look up in your DMSS software or look at in the config tool. So once you have the config tool open, you see there's a few devices I have connected to my local network and I can go to, your, to, to the details and copy and paste my serial number to my HKC. So the next page is gonna ask you for the channel number. So I'm just gonna select the channel number one of my recorder could be any channel. If you have 8, 16, 64 channels, you can pick any channel of your recorder. Then you can select the stream. So I do recommend to pick the extra stream, which is the substream, lower bandwidth stream. Um, in the case if you have the slow connection, slow broadband on site. And then we have a drop list of our zone. So we're just gonna link that to zone number one to the front door because it's the front camera. And then in the case of the event, if the alarm is triggered, how many minutes the video clip will take. Uh, so it's just going to say like one minute. So that one min minute video clip will be sent to my app on a phone. Um, so you see you have my, uh, I do have my channel listed. Uh, so if you'd like to add an extra channel and just select the next line, click the add button and just copy the existing side information. The only thing that I need is change the channel number to number two and link that to a different zone. So my second zone could be a first floor and the second channel of my recorder. So that's done. So the only thing I need to do now is send that information to my panel. So go ahead, send the information to my panel. And now I'm going to show you how to uh, how they look like on the app on the phone, on the HKC app, uh, where you can view those cameras and how they look when the alarm is triggered. So let me show you now. Okay, so we're just gonna open up the app. Uh, you can log it in with your fingerprint or face um, to authenticate. So in the app itself, we just need to go to the inputs. In the inputs, we need to go and see what cameras are associated with what zone and uh, that we just did in our um, SecureCon uh, software. So you can see you can quick preview every single camera associated with the particular zone. We can also check the log information. So in the log information, if any of the zones has been triggered and there's a camera associated with that zone, we can do that video clip, one minute video clip playback. And that brings up the exact event time and date you see here, but we can also see all our cameras listed in this new tab CCTV video where we have all your cameras listed, whatever cameras you have connected to the HKC panel, and you can just click the button to do a quick preview. So it's a great, great piece of the software. Uh, I've been testing this for the last couple of months, it worked perfectly fine. And um, if you have any questions, comment below, uh, but yeah, I'm going to have uh, some other software to show you and in the future. So and stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.